in a land famed for having the largest language in the world with foreigners from all over the world. Today we're in China with another episode on the BB channel. So do this fun, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're sharing this video. And honestly today we just have a very inspirational story for you. So make sure you're tuned in, make sure you watch till the end and also be sure to comment and if you want to ask any questions, please be sure to do so. Tendai Pizza, as you can see, we are here at Tendai Pizza. So, um, uh, basically, our company is all about making pizzas and other fast foods. So, that's what I can say. Your purpose for coming to China was to come and study. Is that not so? Yes, basically, I can say that was the, that was the main apparent damage first. Then, when I came here, I was around in 2017, then I graduated last year. Uh, actually, I did the early graduation program. I had to start my four-year program in three years so that I could fast forward it and start this company. So when did you start this company? This company, I can actually say, it started the late of 2017, around December 2017. I came here to the 17 August, then we started operating Tendai Pizza in 2017 December. Yeah, so we are now with around three days. Yeah, you know, that's very impressive. So how are you able to manage to start your, your company despite being a student and being in a place where the language that's widely spoken is a language that's not yours? Uh, actually, I don't want to lie. We face a lot of challenges, a lot of yeah. But challenges cannot be like a stumbling block or an obstacle for you not to go on. You just have to overlook those things and go on. Or you just have to find a way then you, you go on. So most of the challenges we face as foreigners are like language barrier and all those kind of things. Yes, of course, I can tell you like the, the trick behind is to learn the language. Yes, it's always difficult, but if you find your way around in trying to explain or talk to the people, the locals, they will understand you and they can understand or they can get whatever you want to try to say, even though you are speaking broken Chinese or something like that. But one way or the other, they will still get what they're trying to say. Even if they correct you, but the next time you will know like, oh, they corrected, corrected me like this, or this time you're supposed to say like this. So this was one of the barriers, just language barrier, then connections. So the best thing you can do when you're in a such an environment like this is to look for connections. There is no man who is on the island. You cannot be it all on. You can't. You need connections. You need other people. And so what I'm getting, you've been able to have connections that I have been able to tell people that are going to. And how would you advise someone that wants to be in a safe in a safe place that they're in today to go about looking for these connections despite the language barrier or for all sorts of problems that you might have. Uh, okay, fine. The thing is like, um, is foreigners, if we came into China like this, then the moment we arrive in China, the best thing you can do for yourself 
is to try to associate with people who are already in the place so that they can connect you to whatever they know and they can take you to wherever they can take you. You get the question. If you try to isolate yourself or if you try to mix with the people who we are always with, then it might be a problem for you to grow or for you to learn something. But the idea of you leaving your country, be it you come from Zambia, Zimbabwe, or anywhere, American countries or anywhere, is for you to learn new things. It's for you to get exposure. But if you came from your country, then you come here, you are everywhere, then you start again mingling and mixing with the same people you were with before. You won't get much of the exposure. So the thing is like, find a Chinese friend, find a Chinese partner, you get it. Not like a best friend or a close friend, no. Just someone to talk to, just someone who knows his way around, you get it. I cannot say like, I just go get there, then I meet a perfect Chinese friend, no. I meet a lot of people, a lot of Chinese people. We exchange contacts, then some of them they just went fire on me. You get me? But it doesn't mean like I have to stop or something. No. Persistence. Keep looking for more different people. Someone will be interested in you. Someone will be interested in buying whatever you're selling or whatever your idea is. If you're interested in car parts or whatever thing, you will find someone who is interested in that industry. Then your ideas will make up into something, then boom, yeah. To be this person. So I we do need I do need I personally do need to be persistent in everything that I'm doing. And honestly, that's advice that I'm taking from you today. Despite the challenges that will be there, I need to make sure that I'm persistent and honestly I just need to know what it is that I'm trying to do. So was this something that you really always wanted to do at some point and what kept you going despite the challenges that you are facing? Okay. Um, at first, this was like a job. Oh, you got like, it was just like a job. We just started making pizzas with guys in the room. You get then we ate the pizza. It was nice. Then other people from different rooms and different dormitories, they came. They tested the pizza and it was tasting good. You get it. They started giving me advice. No, we, I think we really need to try this and eat this and introduce it to other guys so that they can taste it. By the end of the week, it was there. Uh, the whole school was talking about pizza. Well, at this point, the whole province, because I'm from the other end of the province, and <laughs> <laughs> that's where I got the. <laughs> so, the whole province. Makes yeah. That yeah. So, that's the thing. Eh, hey, pizza, pizza, pizza. Yeah, the thing was like, I realized that there was uh, more like, I can say, shortage of pizzas in China. Yeah. Okay. But there are a few companies which are specialized in here yeah, in China. Like, if you look at it, you can see like, maybe pizza and maybe some other small, small, small things. Yeah. Those are the guys who are specialized in making pizzas. Of which those people they charge exorbitant prices and they are not conveniently located mostly. You can need to travel maybe 20 kilometers or something like that so that you can find them. So that's the thing. So for them being not available for people, you saw it as an opportunity to pay our way to and it has honestly it's a great thing that it has come this way that even I on the other side of the province I'm able to know about this place that offers this amazing pizza. And the bigger thing about it is that it's a foreigner from another country that's been able to do it, someone that was persistent despite the language barriers that we have. And people all over the world are saying, no, you can't make it in China, you can't do this, but it's, it's the exact example that we've been looking for. That someone really did it and put your mind to it and you're going to be able to do it. So we are very thankful for having you today. What do you want to know? What are your for the diet? What are your plans for now? Uh, for the moment, we already have three branches in China. Oh well, three branches. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we are we are planning to make Chennai Pizza a worldwide thing. Okay. We need it to be recognized all over the world, and we need almost everywhere. We need to locate Chennai Pizza way far. We need it to be convenient for you. you get it. 
where you are, you think of Tendai Pizza, you just get on your phone game. Okay. Despite the location, despite anything. Be it Africa, we are coming. We are coming. Europe, we are also coming. We are going to finish Asia first, then we go to Africa, Europe, and any other continent. So the promise is just give us a few more minutes. Well, see you crazy for yourself, and honestly, I'm grateful that I'm getting to see this unravel. And so should you be sure to follow the dive inside your place when it comes there. And please be sure to watch this video, like, and comment.